So a common question that I get from coaches every single day is what should I be charging for one-to-one -one training? So in this video, I'm gonna answer that question. I'm gonna show you a couple of strategies that you can use within your training business. And I wanna show you how you can take your one-off sessions and make more money with that same client paying you more. Okay, so watch this video. I know it's gonna help you. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content. So the average coach in this industry, okay, now I'm just gonna work off the average uh, coach who I speak to, who I've worked with, so the average coach in the soccer training or football training industry is charging around £50 for a one-off, one-to-one session. So if you aren't in the UK, £50 is the equivalent of around US$70. US dollars. Right, that's on average what most coaches in this industry are charging for one-to-one -one sessions. Okay, now... Again, some coaches watching this channel might be charging less. Other coaches might be looking at it and go, whoa, I charge a lot more than, than that amount. Okay, But what I get a lot of questions from coaches who ask me, they say to me, Leo, what should I be charging for one-to-one? -one? Or what should I be charging for an hour and a half? What should I be charging for a 60-minute session? Okay, So today I'm going to be working off 50 pounds, which is around 70 US dollars, okay, and a 60 minute session. Okay, so I'm gonna use that as the example just for, for this video. Again, you adapt this to your business. If you're charging less, then adapt it to your business. If you're charging more, adapt it. Okay, on average, the coaches that are in this industry, they're charging one-off sessions. So essentially, there's no real commitment from parents. It's a WhatsApp message on a Sunday evening. Hey, Mrs. Jones, what day are you available to train this week? Oh, hi, Coach Leo. Yeah, we're available on Tuesday from 6 to 7. Okay, fantastic. The coach shows up to the session, does the session. Miss Jones hands them uh, £50 or $70, and they both go home. And then the same process is next week. We get to the next Sunday. That WhatsApp message or that text message to Mrs. Jones. Hey, Mrs. Jones. Uh, what day are you available to train this week? Oh, sorry, Coach Leo, we're away for the next two weeks. Okay, great. So that means that the next two weeks, you aren't getting paid from that customer. Okay? And this is where a lot of coaches get hurt. Most don't want to change this system because they're comfortable the way it is. But at the end of the day, if you want to do this full-time or you want to do this in a more serious level then there has to be some type of commitment from the customer, okay? Now, if you don't want customers to be more committed, then you've got to charge more for what you do. It's, it's as simple as that. So if we take the £50 on average that coaches are charging for one-off sessions, the way I say to coaches who want to get clients a little bit more committed, right? So if, if, a, if one customer is paying you £50 per session and they're doing four sessions a month with you, okay, that, if my math serves me correct, equates to £200 per month, okay? So that's four training sessions per month, one hour long, 50 per month, okay? So what I want you to do now is take what you're charging for the session, for the one-off session, and now times it by four. Okay, so if you're charging 50 for that session, that times four is now 200, okay? So 200 a month is essentially what parents are investing into your program, okay? Now, the next step is how can we now make clients a little bit more committed where they're paying us a little bit more or they're paying and getting a discount. So if we take that one off 50 pound that you're charging, we've times it by four now, that's essentially £200 one parent is paying you per month for training. How can we then transition that into becoming a two-month commitment? 
So instead of a parent paying you 200 pounds, which equates to about $500 or a bit less, okay, but we'll, for this video, we'll just go with $500. How can we now times that by, by two? Okay, so 200 times two equals 400. So how can we get one parent now to pay you 400 pounds for training? Okay, a lot of coaches in the UK will be thinking that's insane. No parents gonna charge that. Uh, sorry, no parents are gonna gonna pay for that. Uh, that's just not gonna work. That's fine. If if you feel that it's not gonna work, then it's not gonna work. I can't I can't change you and I can't force you to do anything. But I'm just giving you an example of coaches that I work with and how we've helped coaches transition from that from those one-off sessions and making clients a little bit more committed. Right now. If you feel that parents aren't going to do it, if you feel that 400 pounds, oh, it's a bit too much, um, you know, parents aren't going, aren't going to, to do that, then we say, right, okay, it's an eight week program. Okay, so it's a little bit more commitment than just a one off. It's eight weeks minimum that you have to do. Okay, instead of charging the parent for the entire, uh, four weeks and so instead of charging 400 for those uh, eight weeks of training which equates to 200 per month how can we now incentivize them by offering them a discount so it might be you charge them you give them a hundred pound discount off the second month if they they commit to eight weeks of training so essentially instead of paying for 400 instead of paying 400 pounds for eight weeks of training, now they're paying three hundred pounds for uh, the eight weeks of training, which is a discount. Now you might be thinking, "Oh, but that's you know, I'm not getting paid for those extra sessions." But at the end of the day, you are getting paid for it. But you're going to get results with customers if they're with you for longer. When I go onto coaching courses, and th this is something that that makes me laugh with a lot of coaches I'm for, I shouldn't be laughing but it's something that does make me laugh because when you speak to coaches who are one-to-one -one trainers who are small group specialists uh, who are doing these type of private training right, when you have a private conversation with them and we talk about player development the first thing they say to you is that you know in order to get results with players they, you need to be training them for a long period of time okay now when they go and run a business Okay, they don't want players or they, they, they're afraid of getting customers committed for long periods of time. So it kind of goes against what you're saying or what you're thinking as a coach. If you know as a coach that a player in, in, in one session is not going to benefit at all, why are you just sacrificing your coaching for a quick buck? Okay. It's going to be a quick buck and, and at the end of the day, if they're just going to be with you for one session, you might not ever see them again. So it's fine to run those one-off sessions, but if you want to get really good results and if you want to grow this into a sustainable business, you need to get players results. You need to be working with customers and parents for a longer period of time because the longer they are with you, the more trust they build with you. The longer they're with you, the more referrals they can send your way. The longer they're with you, the more they like you as well. And the, the longer they're with you, the more they want to do with you in the future. Okay, Because they're with you for a long period, because they're seeing the development you're, you're getting uh, with the, the training for their child, then they're going to like, want, trust, and want to do more with you if they see something that you offer more. Okay, So take what you're charging at the moment, Okay, so even if you're charging £20 per session, multiply that by four. Okay, so if you're charging £20 per session for a one-off session, times it by four, so two, four, six, eight. Essentially, that's £80 per month. Okay, it's about $100, I believe, uh, in a month. Okay, and now multiply that by two. So times that, 80 times two, 160 uh, pounds that your parents are paying okay now if you if it sounds like a very small amount 
for the amount of training that then you have to, for the training that then you have to uh, provide for, for the client. But at the end of the day, if you want to get more clients more committed, if you want to build a business, you need to have players and parents with you for longer. It's essentially how you get results, is how, it's how you get transformations, and it's how you can grow and scale your business. Okay, thank you for watching. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to get in contact with me, description below uh, to book a one-to-one. -one.